You're offered the ability to absorb the knowledge of any book you touch instantly. But the way it works is that time freezes and won't unfreeze until you finish reading the book cover to cover. Do you accept this power, curse? Why or why not? 100% would accept. It gives me so many opportunities to be by myself. I like reading so if I really had to read something even if I accidentally touched it and hated it I would. I get to spend hours upon hours by myself and it's a pretty good way to cheat on tests or steal money or whatever. Yep. Same. Freeze time? Thanks for that power. Hey could you hold these textbooks for me? Oh god, is that one in Mandarin? 1. I can effectively teleport by reading a book. 2. I am technically immortal as long as I read. 3. There's all the time I ever wanted. Nothing in the prompt about your own time, aging freezing. There is like literally no downside. Your downside is just the bonus ability to freeze time by touching books. Okay yeah. You could always have a child book. The kind of stuff who take 5 minutes to read and use your power in an handy way. Hell yeah. I get to take my time reading, absorb all the info, and I get enough time to actually read books instead of just skimming. Sign me up. If you're a very slow learner and a reader, and if you touched a book in some other language, would you get old till you are done deciphering and reading it? Will you go from 10 years to 90 years in just the flash of normal time? Probably not. It's instant absorption of the knowledge, so to other people it seems like you didn't age or anything. So you're saying I instantly deeply and intuitively understand the information contained in the book, but as a penalty I then have to actually read the content, in the sense of passing my eyes over the actual characters on the page at a normal reading pace, even though I already understand it all? Asterisk asterisk sign me the fuck up. Asterisk asterisk. I would murder so many advanced physics and math books, it wouldn't even be funny. The actual reading part is like the least hard part of understanding most of that stuff. Or hell, advanced statistics and machine learning. Maybe the only downside I can think of is picking up something really dry, boring and starting to miss people before you're even done with it. You could be wandering a nighttime winter world for months, thinking, gosh, I miss my friends. But Anna Karenina is just not doing it for me today. So if you accidentally touched a Bible for example, you'd be stuck frozen in time for like 50 hours? I'm a bit confused about the monkey's paw fine print of this deal, but it doesn't sound that catastrophic. Edit. Yeah, you guys are right, 50 hours is a massive underestimation. That would cover the bulk of the Old Testament, but the whole thing is probably closer to 80 hours. But hey, supernatural speed reading. Cheeky smiley face. Imagine a shelf full of Bibles falling on you. Divine retribution. Upside. Become the world's most knowledgeable theologian before age 30 downside. Develop a deep-seated fear of church. You ever try to read the Bible cover to cover? It's fucking awful. I couldn't make it past like the third chapter, and this was back when I still kinda believed in the Christian God. Until a library shelf collapses on you, and you try to dig yourself out one agonizing moment at a time. So you are telling me that I can freeze time whenever I wish for however long and when I resume time I learn all the knowledge from a book of my choice. Hell yes sign me the fuck up. Just. As long as my only pair of glasses doesn't break.